what up guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to go ahead and start working with the products list category view and this one is pretty much going to be we're going to open up a category just like i showed you guys in the other video we're going to open up one of these categories over here and we're going to see all the products that are related to this category then make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really means the world to me and also if you want to get a template check out the links in the description below the first link should help you get a template so let's go ahead and get started Now, the first thing that we need to do is create a new view for that. But before that, let's look at the objective of what we're going to be doing. So this is it over here. We need to create a new view to list out all the active products depending on the category selected. And we need to configure the, the URLs and the templates. So let's write a view for that. Now, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to close that off. I'm going to close this off. But I'm going to be needing... Okay, we should just write a, a, a clean view from scratch. Okay, let's not copy. Let's not copy anything. So I'm just gonna say define. Then I'm gonna say product underscore list underscore category view. So if this is a law for you, you could just say um, I, I could just copy this category over here. I'm just gonna cut this category out and I'm gonna put it over here. And it's gonna be category products list view. Okay. So um, there is nothing to get confused about. You could call that whatever you want. You call it bananas. You call it burrito. It's totally up to you. Now over here, I'm just going to pass in request. And in here, apart from the fact that we're going to be passing in request, hopefully you guys do that. We're going to be getting one particular category A. And if we're going to get the category, we're going to be getting it using an ID. So if you come over to this category, there should be a problem. So I, I should pass over here. If we come over here and refresh, now what do you notice? If I open up this category, there is this unique ID over here, right? Now we want to get identify each category by their own ID. So that's why we've got this. Now in order to do that, what we simply want to do is alongside the request, I'm going to pass CID. So take notes, you could pass in burrito here. It's totally up to you. But what I'm going to pass in is CID, okay? Now, after that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change up a couple of things. Firstly, I need to get the category that we are that we are trying to access. Let's say it's the food or the cosmetics, and I'm going to be getting it using this ID. So how do I do that? Now, this time around, it's going to be category should be equal to category dot object dot. What do you think is the next thing that we're going to type? Do you think it's going to be all? Do you think it's going to be filter? Or this is going to be get because we are not trying to get all the categories this time around, but we're trying to get one category just depending on the ID. Yes, you guessed the right. We're going to be getting, we're going to be using the get method. Okay. So with the get, we're going to pass in a couple of things. We're going to pass in CID, should be called to CID. So don't get yourself confused. And I said that because actually when I started off with Django, um, I usually get confused whenever something like this is being written. So this first CID over here, is this one that we've got over here okay so whatever is it that you passed in in here to identify your category that's what you simply want to pass in here so whatever is it that you passed in here then hopefully you guessed the right already that's what you want to pass in here simple as that no strings attached but i want to you know stick with naming convention that's why i'm going to stick with the cid now i'm going to get all the products so i'm going to say products should be equal to products dot objects dots Think that should be filter right so this time around we want to filter by publish status should be true right product status should be published instead that's what i was supposed to say so we want to make sure that a product is already published when we're getting it and one more thing we want to get the product category by the category that we got at the top over here so understand the logic we got one category over here which might be the food category now we're simply going to filter all the products just by the food category if that's what a user is trying to get or if it's the cosmetics category that a user is trying to get we filtered it using this one so this this one over here that we passed in is pretty much this one that we filtered and this category over here maybe you guessed it right already is pretty much this one that's coming from here as simple as that so the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and pass in a context so i'm going to say context and we need to pass a couple of things first thing we need to pass in the category and i'm going to say category just like that and um we need to also pass in the products so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to say products okay so finally i'm going to return render return render i'm going to pass in request that should be a lowercase r and now for the template i'm going to say call slash then i'm going to say category dash list or other category products 
dash list dot html and i'm going to pass in the context in here so that's pretty much it guys now i'm going to come over to the url and i'm going to create a new url this one should be category but instead of that i'm going to say cid so this cid is pretty much a url parameter that's going to get whatever category we are trying to access by the id so you guys are going to understand this when we get there now i'm going to say category product list underscore underscore view and for this one i'm going to say category product list okay so um i think that's going to be it um that should pretty much be it now if we come over here and refresh this it's working right how about we come over here and try to pass in one id so let's say we're trying to pass in an id like cat blah blah blah, blah. now we're going to get this error that says category type object category has no object okay okay i got a problem now over here we need to change this we need to add an s over there to satisfy that error now when this is running again i'm going to refresh this now we should see this error that says category matching query does not exist so now django is telling us hey this idea trying to access does not exist now we need to give it an id that exists and this one exists right so i'm just going to copy that one and replace it with this now what do you notice it's working perfectly well but he says come on destiny i need a template so we need to give it a template and for that i copied that name over there i'm going to come over to core i'm going to create a new file and paste that so um if we come over here now and refresh what do you notice this error is gone right so if we just say uh product dot title now we should all right we, if we just say category dot title then over here now as you can as you can see we get cosmetics so we are getting all this dynamically and um for the food i'm gonna copy that and i'm gonna put it over here what do you notice now we get food so now we need to go ahead and change up all this and actually make it look good now how do we do that i'm simply gonna grab um let's say we want to grab the product or oh, let's look at a template if we have a, a template for that okay look at this one we got this template right so i'm just gonna copy that one and i'm gonna paste it in here and we need to do a, a little bit of refactoring just like we've been doing i'm going to copy this and the product category list i'm going to look for the slash header this one over here i'm going to minimize this and just over here i'm going to copy all the way to the top i'm going to paste this now i'm going to copy this one finally close up the main and um this footer from here to the bottom i'm going to remove everything that we've got over there and i'm going to paste the end block content okay so with this now if we come over here and refresh what do you notice this is what we got so we need to change this snack over here to whatever product is it that we are trying to get and we've got all those products uh oh man that's a lot okay i think that should be it but you know to speed up things what we could even do is just copy everything in the product list right i could copy everything here in the product list and put it in here it should speed up things for us let's refresh one more time okay as you can see now we got all this but it's just one thing that's missing so um instead of doing it let, let's just stick with what we've got right let's just stick with what we've got which is the stack this one over here so firstly in the stack what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say category this one that's title now we should get food okay this is it over here food but instead we need to put that category title at the top this one over here that's where we need to put it and um if we refresh this now as you can see it's gone so over here i'm gonna get rid of all this cabbage thing you could get rid of it you could comment it out it's totally up to you but i don't i don't think i need that for anything but if you have an idea of what you could use that to do just drop a comment and i'm gonna implement it so that's it we found 29 items for you that's not what i want rather i want to list out all the the products that are related to this one which is two hopefully you remember two pro two products for the food one product for the for the cosmetic okay so we found 29 so if you have 29 what did you could do we could just say products dot count so um let's see let's see what do you notice we found two items for you and remember what we did from the last video where we pluralized something over here i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna come over here and i'm gonna paste this and i'm gonna say dot count slash pluralize okay now if we refresh this it should still be working perfectly well so that's it now another thing that we're going to be doing is getting rid of the the products so um we're just gonna keep minimizing all this so i'm just gonna get rid of all this and um we're gonna stick with one so remember what, we, what we've been doing from the other videos um for the product list the, the one that we got uh for p in products that we just you know steal this one over here i don't know if we stole it or if we borrowed it 
but wherever I just copy this and I come over to the category product list and instead of this one over here I just paste it down there so now if we come over here and refresh now what do you notice food and we found two items for you and these are the items now another one that we would want to check out is the is the cosmetics so as you can see this is all working dynamically and it's scalable so if I paste this now what do you notice we got this one okay I, I think that's pretty much what you want to do now finally what I'm gonna do is just come over here and when I click on this, I want to go I want to go to the detail page that's going to display it instead of coming over here and doing that. So let's do that right away. I'm going to come over to the category list and I'm going to look for C in that. Now this is what I want to change over here. So that's, and also this one, I think I'm going to change out the both of them. So I'm going to open up this and I'm going to say URL should be core pipe. And I think what I call it over here is this. So I'm going to copy this, 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 this. And I'm going to come over here, I think. And I'm going to paste that. So now if we refresh, we should definitely get a CID error. So this is going to be looking for a CID. This is it over there. Now what we simply need to do is say C.CID. So why is it looking for a CID error? Remember, if it wants to get to, um, to one product, you need to pass in that CID team over here, right? Now it's saying, hey, um, I won't be able to actually go to any products because you didn't actually specify what CID I should be I should be getting. So remember, we are running the for loop over here. Now, for each product, we just tell it the CID that it should use. C.CID. Now, that CID, as I as I told you guys earlier, is pretty much coming from the model. I'm gonna look for the model. Hopefully, I haven't misplaced it. This over here. CID at the top. CID. So now that error should be gone. As you can see, that's gone. So take note down here if we hover on this as you can see it's showing up that now if we click on food what do you notice now we got the two food and over here we get food it's automatically getting that and if you click on cosmetics what do you notice over here we got cosmetics and as you can see it shows that cosmetics okay i think that's gonna be it i'm gonna open this up again let's see something okay i think that's gonna be it guys now in the next video what i want to do is simply go ahead and change up a couple of things for example, I want to display categories over here at the top, okay? And if I want to display categories over here, there's going to be a problem. So I'd want you to guys I would want you guys to think about this with me. Now, remember we have an index page, right? Which is this one over here. Now there's going to be an error. Let's get around every one of that. Now this is an index page. We have a view for it. We also have a view for the product list page. We also have a view for the category, which is this views over here. Now, what is the view that's holding the template for the base? Could you answer this question? The base.html, the base.html, what is the view that's actually rendering this template? Now, there is no view. If you open this up, you'd see this one is index.html, right? If you open this up, this one is product list.html, this one is category list.html, this one is category product list.html. Now, if we uh if we want to display something over here in this menu, there's going to be a problem because this menu over here is pretty much stored in the base. Now, there is no view that's holding the base. So that's the case where context processors come in. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. Make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing, that's what really means the world to me. And also, you want to get the templates, check out the link in the description below. They should point you to the right direction to get the templates. And until the next video, where we're going to go ahead and start working with the context processors. But love, peace out.